Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox 2 and today we're going to be getting the top, well the first comment I find on my last Universe Sandbox 2 video and, and we're going to be doing that. Let's see, that's Paradise on Jupiter and let's see, oh look at that ugly kid. What is he doing on this beautiful video? Okay, let's see, top, top comment. Uh, can you terraform the moons of Jupiter? Why did it have to be the one that took actual effort? Do you know how many moons Jupiter has? That's just messed up. Okay, fine. I'll do it. We're not gonna do it in a, like, realistic way, because that would take years, but I will actually get Jupiter. Oh my, oh my god, no, there's so many. <laughs> Aaron's just smiling, because do you see all the moons? There's a lot! Oh my god! How how many moons does Jupiter have? We'll go from the closest ones. Jupiter has 53 named moons and another 26 awaiting official names. Scientists think Jupiter has 79 moons. Why would you do this to me? Oh my god! Ugh! Okay, these two like share the exact same orbit, which is kind of awesome. All right, we'll start with Metis. This guy is so tiny, I don't even think I can terraform it, but we'll try. Can I throw some water on there? Oh, I can. What do you look at that? Now it's like an icy. Fantastic. Um, we'll just set its uh, temperature. I don't know if it'll like become water. I don't know if it's programmed to. 20. No, it just there's not enough atmosphere to hold it. All right I guess we're gonna have to increase the mass quite a bit to make this work Okay times 10 times 10 times 10 Okay, that's still not enough times. 10. Okay that that looks to be I think that's a no it's not E Okay, that's like definitely planet size. I'm gonna say all we have to do is... Oh, I set the average surface temperature. What's the... No, it's actually a reasonable temperature right now. Oh, it's all collapsing back. Okay, it's getting all the water back now. Very good. Very good indeed. Um, and this is way too much water in the first place, so we're just gonna turn that down a bit. Oh my god, this is really weird. The the graphical stuff is completely off. There should be like water on the surface, but there's just not. I don't think moons, oh my god, the lag. Oh, I've just made a mess. That's all I've done. Okay, we'll do the bigger moons of Jupiter, okay? We'll do the bigger moons of Jupiter because this just ain't working. Okay. Let's, let's just look up. Jupiter's biggest moons. Ganymede. Okay, a larger satellite in the solar system. There we go. Right here. What is that compared to our moon? Two times the size of our moon. Okay, we can work with that. That's workable. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Water. Damn. That's sexy. There we go, sexy Ganymede. And we're just gonna go ahead and heat it up a little bit using lasers. Because honestly, how else would we do it? Not with lasers, what? You guys are terrible, honestly. You think I'm gonna do something without lasers? Absolutely horrible. Who do you think you are? Laser non-fun people. No! I instantly destroyed it. That was way too much power. <laughs> Why? <laughs> every time, every time I manage to just ruin everything. Ugh. God. First my grades, next my relationship, and now Ganymede. Ugh. There's nothing I can touch without it turning to ash. <laughs> 
There's just a pile of ashes in my apartment, which used to be Aaron. Okay, I think that was still way too much power we put into that. But I, I'm 90% sure that that is not going to end with it being absolutely vaporized. Oh, it's, it's like 60 degrees. I mean, it gets to 2,000 degrees, but reasonable. Okay, now we just throw water on it because I'm sure that's that's how it works, right? You put the put the egg on the pan, turn up the heat, maybe put some spray on it so that it doesn't stick to the pan. Damn, now that's good looking. Look, look, oh, beautiful. And wow, it's just like all frozen except <laughs> minimum temperature, 20. There, there we go. That looks reasonable. Oh, and now it's all gone. Maximum temperature will set to 80. There we go, that's more reasonable. Now we can actually give it some proper water. Oh my god, guys. This has been a mess. This has been a mess. Literally all I want in my life. All I've ever wanted. All I want is to make Ganymede beautiful. That is my entire life's purpose. And this game is getting in the way. Oh, damn. No, I feel like Ganymede should have some, like, cool alien life. Let's make it, like, purple. <gasps> nice. Purple. Then at the low points, we'll do, like, a... Yo! That is so cool looking. I am very happy with that. Let's give it an atmosphere. Oh, look at that. 64% Earth similarity. Like, that is... That's pretty good. 0% life likelihood, though, because there's no atmosphere yet. Where's the atmosphere option? Oh, it's a moon. It may not let me... No, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. One Earth atmosphere. Oh, my God. That looks so good. It looks like a really neat marble that you'd, like, trade your friends for. 43% life likelihood. Like, damn. That is a good looking planet. I mean, it's a moon, but you know what I mean. Oh, you know what we forgot? We gotta put lights on it. All right, let's go ahead to the... Where, where is the... Surface? Surface. Uh, no, appearance. There we go. View city lights. <gasps> oh, look at that. That, oh no, I accidentally ran away. Come back. God, I hate it when I accidentally run away from people when I'm trying to look at them. Look, look at that. That is just beautiful. God, this game is just amazing for things like this. This is what this game is meant for, making cool looking planets. Like, I get that it's also supposed to be like scientifically accurate, but come on. Be honest. Why are you watching this video? Oh my god, that was a perfect shot with Jupiter in the background as well. That was that was poetic, even though there were no words involved. Good poetry doesn't use words. Good good poetry is raw emotions with no meaning that can be translated into English. It's a, it's a scream that you you understand. I'm trying to be poetic here, but it's not working. <laughs> I'm not poetic. I'm gonna leave that to Aaron. Aaron and her poetry of words. I will glare at Aaron. How dare you get awards and I didn't get awards, Aaron. My poetry was amazing. All right, IO actually looks kind of awesome how it is, so I think we're just gonna go ahead and just throw an atmosphere on it and call it a day. I don't even think Aaron's paying attention. I don't think she cares about me, so she doesn't listen, you know. I'm joking, you meme. <laughs> oh, you can change the atmosphere color, I forgot about that. Oh, yes! Oh my god, that looks so cool. <laughs> oh, I love this. Man, that is so neat. Oh, Io looks really cool as well. I'm really happy with the with the planets and how they're turning out. Moons, they're not planets. Stop it, Spike. You'll have to 
punish yourself with death. Oh, look at that. That's good. All right, we've we've terraformed two of them. I don't know. Maybe we'll do a few more. Europa. I think Europa's pretty big. Yeah, there you go. And Europa's already got water on it. I'm 98% sure. Yeah, it does. 15%. So we're going to have a water world. Let's just set that to 20 degrees. We've got our Oh god, no. It's it's all it's all evaporating. We need to throw an atmosphere on her. Quickly. Atmosphere up. Boop. No, it's not protecting it. It needs more mass. Ah. Oh. Ah. We're losing all the water. Okay, double mass. There we go. That did it. Okay, we need a cool looking atmosphere though. Let's make it green. Maybe it's like algae, but it lives in the air. That would be kind of neat. Can you imagine that? Like clumps of like algae that can like float and then the birds are just like sailing like whales through the air collecting all of it. The algae just live in the clouds. Oh, that would be actually a kind of cool, kind of cool idea. Quickly, write a book. Steal the idea from me. <laughs> Before it's too late. Then we have underwater cities. No, no cities. They're just dead. We'll make the high points on the thing, like, red so that you can kind of see it a ton. No, you can really. It's just a water world with algae in the air. Kind of cool, though. Kind of cool. Maybe not as cool as Io. Damn, they all look so neat. Oh, I'm very happy with how it's coming out. Okay, so that's that's three. What about this one? I think the rest are gonna be just too small. Where's Callisto? Did I already do Callisto? Right here? No, I haven't. Great, so this is one we can actually pull off. I'm pretty sure this one's actually pretty large. Moon, 1.46 moon. Yeah, I think it can actually support water just as it is. Yes, maybe not liquid water though. Ice, ice definitely. Let's set it to 20 degrees. Okay, that's a lot less, but Push it up a little bit. There we go. Look at that. It's a little boring looking, so let's give it some cool colors. Let's get a custom. Let's make it red and blue. Oh, damn. Red, white, and blue. <laughs> it's America or, or Russia. Although, you don't actually... I guess the water is the blue, so what we'll do is we'll make the, uh... We'll make this red. And we'll make this white. I don't know, that doesn't look as good. Never mind. Look, okay, that, that's pretty cool looking. And then we can, uh... For the atmosphere color, it doesn't have an atmosphere yet, so I guess it has white on the top because the poles and on the bottom. Look at that. That's so neat. I love that they made it so that you can color them. You can have a lot of fun with it. Okay, one earth atmosphere. Then we can go to the appearance and the atmosphere color. Okay, it killed my colors. That's kind of sad. But we'll get them back. Blue. Oh, that kind of looked neat with the gray. I may actually like that more. Yeah, I like that. And the atmosphere we can make red. We've already done a red atmosphere, though. What about yellow? Oh, look at that. That's a neat looking planet. Then we can go over to the appearance and turn on the lights. Boom. Wow, that's a lot of cities. That's that's quite a bit of activity for a planet. Oh, no! Oh, unfortunate. It ran away. 
Well, guys, I mean, did we do every single one? No, but I'd like to say that we did quite a few. So thank you all for watching. Maybe we'll do more in the future. I, I think I held up to the promise, though, of trying to do one from the comments. Um, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Ah. Uh.